You're right, lads, and welcome to a new video from the Ultimate Games HD. It's Goach here, and uh, welcome back to, I think this is the sixth episode now, of the Road to the Top Serie A. And uh, as you can see, this is the team that we are going to, or we are rolling with at the moment. Uh, we do have the likes of Macassel, uh, Christo Dilopoulos, uh, people like that, who um, are the rare silvers. And the rare silvers are the players that we're going to be aiming for uh, during this episode and future episodes. So we can try and get move on to those uh, non-rare gold players to be able to, therefore, obviously get uh, to the end of the series. But as you can see, we do go into our first game. Uh, he does have quite poor chemistry. Um, if you're wondering why I come up against such poor chemistry teams, it's not because I like keep backing out until I find one. It is generally because I think just the rating of the team... Um, I just keep coming up against them. Um, I, 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 will, I go into uh, any game that I find, uh, even if it's like someone with like a 90 rated attack, etc. Uh, yet to find one of those, but uh, yeah, anyway, we do win the game, and that means that we do f uh, therefore get an upgrade, and we do, I can't see what his name is, uh, but we do get an upgrade um, of a pacey right mid, uh, I think he's got 92 pace, cost me 1.2k, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves, and I had the choice between him and Fet Fat Cedis, now I've used Fet Fat Cedis on this game, and to be honest with you, he's really, really, really crap, so uh, that is the reason why, uh, he's really, he's, he's quite weak, and uh, that is the reason I don't really like him, but uh, as you can see, we do go into, a, into a, another game, and uh, unfortunately, we do take quite an early lead in the 22nd minute, uh, badly, uh, putting the guy 1-0 up, and uh, it did take me until about the 28th minute, so six minutes later, to be able to get an equaliser through a penalty, and uh, the reason, uh, the reason why uh, I went on the down, I was generally I. The thing is, again, this guy's team was uh, he had quite had quite had ugh, can't get my words out. He uh, had quite poor chemistry again, uh, but when you go come against poor chemistry teams, you generally think to yourself like. Um, you think to yourself, oh, I can win this. So you don't seem to like not sweat, but you don't seem to try as hard. Uh, but once he scored, once he scored the first goal, I realised that he wasn't actually that bad an opponent. And uh, just before half time, I do make it four one there with a lovely strike from Macassell. Uh, and then we do make it five one. Uh, Justin moving into the second half in the forty eighth minute, um, literally straight from kick off. Balotelli does finesse it around the keeper uh, to make it five one. And then 6-1, as you can see, he uh, he was playing and then he suddenly decided to stop as Macassell just ran through his defence and scored. And I believe that is the it. Yeah, the guy did have enough. Uh, did not think he had a chance of coming back into the game. So he left and rage quit. So uh, we did get the third upgrade of the episode. I think it's the third? Third? Maybe the second. Hmm. Yeah, it's the second. It is the second upgrade. And uh, we do get the upgrade of Monzon. Now, uh, this guy has incredible free kicks. He had great free kicks in FIFA 13 uh, when I had him in my, uh, I think it's Argentinian team. Uh, and again, he has absolutely great free kicks in this game too. That's why he's around 2,000 coins, uh, because he doesn't have the greatest of pace of uh, 75. And uh, I also put the backbone chemistry start on him, which does do, I think, passing, defending and heading. Now, we do go into a third game of the episode. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's not very good chemistry, but it's got the likes of Gundogan, uh, Royce, uh, Ramos... Uh, Alba, people like that, and uh, for a team that's all silver via obviously Balotelli, uh, it was a really tough game, and uh, we do skip all the way until the 86th minute, where we do have a, do a sweaty cross and a lovely, uh, lovely header past the keeper from Centurion to make it one 0 But then in the 90th minute, Perlo, um, obviously being a goal player, uh, ruins the uh, silver keeper and means that um, we do have to go to extra time, which. In extra time, nothing happened, so he skips straight through to penalties where I'm going to speed up the gameplay. And uh, you will see that, unfortunately, at the end of the penalty shootout, we do lose the game. Uh, obviously, the, the, being a goal keep, a gold keeper and also a uh, gold squad, uh, it's difficult for me to to obviously win. Uh, it doesn't no matter how good a player he is, if you can, if you know how to take penalties with a gold team against a silver team, you are most of the time likely going to be at it. You are most likely of the top. Oh, mate, I can't even get out. You're going to win, basically. But uh, we do go into another game uh, to try and get the third upgrade of the episode, which we were aiming for. And uh, in the 13th minute, Macassell does uh, use his strength, which is surprising. He seems to have really good strength for this game. For someone that's uh, so cheap, four-star skills, four-star weak foot, good strength. Uh, and he does make it 1-0. Uh, but then in the 45th minute, Pogba does ruin... Uh, ruin the def ruin my defence and uh, hit the hit the bar, but then get the rebound header to make it one 0 And then 
In the 52nd minute, just after half-time, Ibarbo for him does make it 2-1. And at this point, I was really, really pissed off because I was playing well and I really wanted that third upgrade and it really didn't look like it was going to it was gonna come. But thankfully, Macassell uh, does pick up two goals in quick succession to make it 3-2. And I think that is how the game ends, yeah. The game does end, Macassell getting himself a hat-trick. And that means that we do get an upgrade of Del Silvestre. Uh, he is getting uh, upgraded to Cavanda. I think it's Cavanda or Cavanda. Yeah, Cavander, I think that's what it says. He has got 90 pace, uh, 73 dribbling, 71 passing, decent defending and heading stats for a silver, uh, 1.5k, and uh, he's really, really strong, actually. He, defensively and uh, heading-wise, he's a really, really strong player. But, uh, yeah, I think this is coming to the end of the episode now, guys. So, if you have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. That is the team at the moment. In the next episode, we'll be trying to upgrade the remaining three players to... Uh, rare silvers butter yeah if you have enjoyed as i said please remember to either like a comment and subscribe comment down below for any improvements or players you would like to see in the final team and i'll see you guys next time goodbye